Okay guys, now I'm gonna show you the Chitao trigger point release. If you go through the muscles on your outline for today, most of them have a palpation video associated with them on Gail's website, um, except for obturator internus. Obturator internus, uh, there's a video for it, but there's no video of the actual palpation. So I will show you that one um, so you can give it a try. But I thought I would show you serratus anterior. I'll show you a Chitao trigger point release on serratus anterior. It's a bit tricky. Um, now that you've watched the lecture videos, you know that Chitao trigger point releases require you to um, first warm up the area using massage techniques and hydrotherapy. So um, you go along and of course this doesn't want to come out. There it is. So take a deep breath in Paige. And then exhale. So we're warming up the area. I have her in side lying already. I was gonna show you guys side lying drape, but actually I don't need to because I found a video. So watch that Carol Osborne video that I posted from YouTube. That shows you exactly how to do uh, an easy side lying drape. That's really comfortable and it's, it, it's exactly the way that I do mine anyway, so that's perfect. So I've warmed up the area here. Now, the other thing about Chitao is that he recommends putting the muscle on a stretch to treat it. So basically you do the opposite of the action. So the serratus anterior protracts the scapula, which means you have to put the scapula into a little bit of retraction in order to stretch it. So first of all, if I'm massaging along in this area and we, we come across something, ooh, that's, and she says, oh, that's tender, then I'm gonna double check that I'm on the muscle I think I am. So remember, it goes from the anterior portion of the scapula and comes out to the uh, first eight ribs. So in order to resist the action, which is protraction, I'm just gonna get her to bring her elbow up here and press against me here. Good. So this is like, if she had her arm straight out, I could also do that. Um, but it's easier just to do it from the, from the elbow. So press against me here. Good, and then I would palpating with the other hand and I would find something here. And now in order to put her into a little bit of retraction, it's kind of difficult to get a good uh, serious stretch on this muscle. So what I'm gonna ask her to do instead is actually, Paige, can you just uh, make a kind of a table with your arm? So she's just gonna rest her arm kind of in neutral here. This brings the scapula back a little bit and puts a little bit of stretch on the serratus. You can see there's more room here now to work with and it allows her to stay relaxed and comfortable while we're still, while we're doing the trigger point treatment. So let's do our muscle stripping technique in here. And let's say we find something. Is that tender? Yep. Where would you put that on the pain scale? A zero to 10, zero being no pain at all, 10 like putting your hand on a hot burner. About a four. Okay, so that's a four. Does it radiate anywhere? No, it's not four. Okay, so now I've got the answers to my first three questions. Now I'm gonna go in with my Chitao release. Now Chitao does a varying pressure. So I'm gonna go in, press, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna slightly come out. I leave my fingers in the exact same place. You don't want that to slip away. Come out for two seconds and then you come back in. And you may go as deep as you went on the first one. You may even be able to go a little bit deeper on the second one. Three, four, five, and come out a little bit. And I'm keeping my finger in the same spot and then I'm coming back in. One, two, three, four, five. Then I come back out one, two and I slowly release. Oops, I forgot to ask you if it was releasing. Sorry guys, what I meant to do was before I release that, uh, one, two, when I come back out a little bit again, I'd say where would you put that now on the pain scale? About a one. Okay, so it's already pretty much released and then come out and then Ch uh, Chitao recommends that you really flush out the area really well with massage and also that you get the person to do active range of motion. So you'd instruct them on how to do that. So Paige, I'm just gonna get you to, I want you to move your shoulder back and forth like this a couple times for me. And she can just do that actively. Good, and then you can go back to neutral. And now I could come back in and do this, repeat this treatment for up to three times. 
Um, he really recommends doing some flushing in between. He also says that you can do some heat, some hydrotherapy in between, um, and uh, make sure that you flush really, really well. And then for home care, uh, Chitao recommends uh, movement therapy. So for this particular one, I might get her to just do some retraction, protraction. Um, uh, you could get them to take a walk and swing their arms, anything like that. You'll learn some more techniques next year in therapeutic um, exercise. Uh, but yeah, that's a basic trigger point release on the serratus anterior.